good day to everyone and i welcome you to the another episode on mold flows tips and work flow i know it's been a long pause almost uh, like in a 3 months time since then i posted the you know tips and trip video i was eagerly waiting for the release of mold flow 2024 and 23rd of january we had a release of 2024 I thought of taking this opportunity and posting it to the what's new in Autodesk Moldflow 2024. So with that, let's get started and over the series of episodes, I will take you through the announcements in Moldflow 2024. The first announcements that I want to discuss is about is the user interface change. The enhancements that has been put into the interface that has eased the way we interpret the results. I'm talking about the newly introduced features that is min and max and the histogram. Let's see how it could be utilized when interpreting the results. Let's get started. Before I get started on showing you the min and max and histogram results, this is an overview slide that talks about the enhancements in terms of the technology leadership, the productivity and workflow. And we also tried improving the accuracy. It's been some times that some of the features and capabilities were put into the Scandium release and probably few of you have already given the feedback about it. So we would be discussing on to the productivity and workflow improvement and specifically talking about the histogram results option and min and max and how it could be useful in interpreting the results. I will be showing the workflow on a sample map model and uh, as usual i have taken a one of the sample model that i have it in my library is of the chess's body and here the main thing that to be remember is we need to have in a 3d mesh the min and max or the histogram results are exclusively available for the 3d mesh now these results can be viewed not only for the analysis that's been run on 2024 but earlier analysis as well so if you have a result file from the 2023 or 2021.2 you can open it only thing is that it should have a like an a 3d mesh you still be able to view the min max and the histogram results i have run a basic fill flow and warp analysis on this model and without modeling any fit system or a cooling channel Yes, basically 3D mesh is needed for it. And when you get started with viewing the result, the first and foremost results that I like to view uh, is on to the filling behavior, or we call as a fill time. There is various ways to view the fill time. Some could view it into a shaded form, that like I am viewing it, or it could be in a control form, or you know scaling the the legends and so and so forth. So go on the results tab, and now with this you would be able to see that you will get an under the examine you should be able to show the min and max, and as well as the histogram. These are the two things that we are going to talk about in this episode. So when I click on min and max, it goes and shows that hey, uh, it shows that which is the minimum to get started. Of course, the zero one and the maximum, the last point to view it. But obvious, and then probably a histogram on top of it will show you how the distribution or the the filling this or the volume-wise distribution versus the time it's been shown over here. First and foremost thing, uh, I would go and uh, talk about the min and max, and then we will go and talk to the histogram part of it. When I go and um. Uh, uh, minimum and talked about about like showing the the maximum results or it shows the last point where the maximum has or i would say the end of the fill result and it shows that hey this is the area where the end of fill has happened and then probably i can further go and do it in maximize 1% and uh, you know show maximum 5% it just increases the the region around it or you know if you want it you can 
slice the probe this is something i like a lot where you can just go and slice it it doesn't show this that great uh, but i will show it in terms of the uh, in terms of uh, the histogram and other other things where min and max makes really uh, make a difference over there i'm going to put it as the show all results or there is another way that i can set the legend and of the min and max yes so there is a two way one is on a graphical way like when you you select it from the ribbon gui or when you are on to the full time you know go in the properties when you go on a scaling you should be able to see the uh, should be able to see min and max under the data display show min and max and show the histogram so two way to uh, invoke this plot of min and max and show histogram let's see how it could be beneficial particularly time to reach ejection temperature this is something when you are working on a 3d model it becomes really difficult to find that which is a thicker section in my part that is driving the time to reach ejection temperature and this could be very beneficial for a product designers and engineers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to on the min and max and it shows that a minimum is this area uh, that's need a minimum time to freeze it off and the maximum is something this is the area where you know uh, it needs a longer time now i could really not see which is that area and how you know inside this is so i'm going to use it uh, on this here plot you can see that and there is an icon uh, or the hand icon comes up right click on it and say that slice the probe and it really cuts that section and it cuts the sections across your screen i mean to say and show you the best way to visualize this is the section and apart from that you can also do a little bit of like and say that show the minimum of or the 5% of it and it will show you this is the region that is being shared off or the cut off with this one and probably if you remove the slice plot you would be able to see these regions much better way right interesting right and then probably you can use it for you know for other things like you know sin marks and uh, uh, you know volumetric shrinkage i find it very useful when using the volumetric shrinkage and or the average volumetric shrinkage where really i don't want to you know do the scaling of that min and max was very helpful over here be patient when you are switching between the plots it's a little bit takes your gpu power or you know computational power to visualize those uh, results let's get back to the histogram now i'm looking at the min and max for the average volumetric shrinkage and this is the best way to visualize the you know our histogram so i of the min and max and then i'm going to show you the histogram now very interestingly it divides all of your scale or the volumetric shrinkage in this case is like 4.6 percent to all the way 12.56 this is been divided by default into the 10 how do i reduce that uh, if you want to divide into the like and five go into the data display and there is an uh, number of intervals from 10 is a default you can divide it like five and apply it which will give a better representation in a smaller way apart from that this is the region which shows the uh, you know maximum or the 61 percent of my part volume is having a volumetric shrinkage in the range of 9.3 to 10 point but that is a 0.16 percent uh, having a volumetric shrinkage of 10 to 12 which is that region probably i can just click it and it will show you this is the region that has a maximum volumetric shrinkage go in it show the full display and then probably you want to see that 26 percent region as well that has a volumetric shrinkage interesting I, I like a lot because it's been 
you know segregating or isolating those areas of interest further way to represent these is in a cumulative i like this cumulative plot because it's cuts into the like or, or put it into a very systematic in a percentage way so it shows that up to 85% is this 8.7 to 10 okay and then from 85 to 100 is this region particularly having a high volumetric shrinkage right this could be uh, interesting to look at on this so there's cumulative way or if you don't want a cumulative way to use just go into the your data display and check it and apply it and this can I think go up to 20 layers also if you want to divide it how how you want to scale it or you want to show the full display and then you scale it on to it right so I think uh, you try around this min and max uh, and as well as the volumetric shrinkage now uh, sorry uh, histogram these results are not available for all the things I know uh, there is a lot of us from the putting it into the uh, into the warp page results but at this point of time it is not available for the warp page basically it is available only for the fill and pack give a try it and see how it could be useful when interpreting the results thank you for your time and I talk to you with a new announcement in the next episode bye